Hello everybody, FS Captain Alex here, and I'm back with another amazing video. Today I have the Breedock 3D Airbus A380 from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and I'm excited to take a look at this thing. We're going to take it for a short flight and kind of just see how it performs. So here's the overall airplane. Looks like they did a pretty good job with it. Obviously, for you aviation nerds out there that want everything crisply to like the core, um, obviously the fly-by-wire A380 is on its way as well, and I will be reviewing that too. But for now, let's get on the cockpit here, and let's start our aircraft up. Los Angeles clearance delivery so, Air France 556 heavy IFR ahead. to Palm Springs ready to copy. I'm sure they'll add like a Air France like super, because all I can do is heavy right now. Go to now. And yeah, flight plan's already loaded, so we shouldn't have to do anything with that. Let's go ahead and get our beacon on. I have a logo. And we'll throw the taxis on too. So, that being said, we are pretty much all ready to go, guys. Here's the cockpit. You can see all the different... You can get your little map right there. So I think it has sounds from the A320 Neo, but I don't know, I mean, for now, guys, like, this thing's amazing. It gets the job done, so. But please subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if you guys have anything nice to say. But yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Nice shot inside the Tom Bradley International Terminal here. We're going to go ahead and get a pushback quick. And we're just going to do a little short flight over to Palm Springs today. And, uh, yeah, just kind of show what this thing's got. So, we are going to connect the tug. And we're going to do a pushback. I do want to put my uh, two Thrustmaster Airbuses together here so I have four throttle quadrants together. But uh, that'll happen very soon. When the fly-by-wire A380 comes out as well. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see if the tug is attaching here. Tug is attached. All right, well, let's get a nice pushback going here. Parking brake off. Standing by for pushback. Cockpit to ground. Uh, here we go. Go ahead. Yeah, overall. We're cleared for start and push. Pretty cool plane. Okay, cleared for push start. Cleared for push start here. Release parking brake. Parking brakes released. Parking brakes are released. But yeah, unfortunately, you can't go to the back of the plane here. The I already tried the settings, like put in my views towards the wings and everything, and the wings aren't even like detailed. So, hopefully, they do updates in the future to this. And this is just like an initial release. That'll be nice. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get a nice engine start going. I already have my engines configured here. Um, with my throttle quadrant from Thrustmaster. Let's do engine 1. So here goes... Here goes engine 1. Engine 2. And then, until I get my other throttle quadrant rigged up here, we're going to start the other two engines manually. And I do have my throttle quadrant rigged up to all four engines, just for the, the two right here. So. Please enjoy this amazing engine startup. Beautiful day at LAX here. We got the FS LTL traffic cooking. And we have the Any Builds LAX here. Nice to finally have like at least a decent A380 in here. I know it's not like perfect down to the core, but it's really cool just to even have something like this. Guys, firing our engines up here.
Get out towards the middle here. Get our flaps down. Flaps are down. Los Angeles ground, American one nine. All right, let's get a nice taxi in. Disconnect. All right, disconnect. Los Angeles ground, Air Force five five six heavy with Gulf ready to taxi IFR. Air Force five All right, disconnecting here. And, hold short of runway. and we are ready to taxi. Kilo one Lima Charlie Charlie one Bravo Bravo one. Contact tower on one one nine or decimal eight when ready. So yeah, there guys, there's the sound of those amazing engines. We also have the uh, the butt kicker going, so my whole sheet is like shaking here. I will give it that the the, the engine sound is nice, and so is the um, the landing gear when it goes up. You can like feel it, like lock up. It's crazy. So we're just gonna do a nice taxi here. All the way down. We're just gonna get on down here and save you guys some time. Alright guys, we're ready for takeoff here. We are ready for takeoff. Lights are on. Let's get our ATC. I really would like to do the um, VATSIM sometime. I've never done VATSIM. I did it like a long time ago. When it was just Microsoft Flight Simulator, but Southwest four zero nine or four taxi two and hold short runway two four left by a taxiway Delta Delta. It is busy here today. Contact tower on one tree tree decimal nine or when ready. Give you guys a nice shot. There we go. Los Angeles ground American one nine or six six. Hey guys, it's busy right now. ATC just keeps talking. Right. Come on. Roger, Air Prince five five six heavy. Los Angeles Tower, Air Prince five five six heavy at runway two five right, ready for departure. I All right, guys, here we go. Listen to those engines. Alright guys, we are ready for takeoff here. We're not getting anything from the tower on this thing, so we're, we're just gonna go. Wow, this is incredible. Alright guys, please enjoy the sound of this takeoff out of LAX.
guys, we are up and out of LAX here. We're going to get our auto. Right. Up and out. Alright guys, listen to the gear go up. Sorry, we're a little bit late on the gear there. But, wow. I could feel that gear lock up, it was crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and get our auto throttle on and set. But yeah guys, stand by. We go to 10,000 and we're going to adjust our speed. Perfect. All right, guys, we are up and out. And we are out of LAX. So we're just going to go over to Palm Springs quick. There's LAX down below. Absolutely stunning, guys. Laps up. Yeah, overall, it flies pretty well, guys. It's pretty good to me. We'll definitely try this on like a long haul flight sometime. Let's check out our showcase views quick, since we are... I think they're going to add, like, seats at some point. I don't know. It's not the best aircraft reviews, but I think they're going to be adding stuff, so I'm honestly, I'm trusting that they're going to be adding a lot of updates to this. So, that's kind of what I'm going into it thinking, so, and they probably definitely will. So, I will be patient here. But yeah, let's go in here. Let's see here, looks like I can... I can move the map here, and I think I can, let's see if I can do the zoom on this. That'd be really cool if I could. Let's see here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but. Oh, there we go. Oh, I really like that. I like to be able to have a map on this thing. And I haven't used, like, Navigraph or any of that stuff. So this is huge for me. So I think I'm going to be flying this airplane a lot more now. Especially that it has this on it. I mean, if these guys made, like, an A350 on this like this, too, like, that would be incredible. Alright, so we're going to head over here to Palm Springs. We're just going to fast forward for you guys so you guys can see a landing. But yeah, overall, pretty awesome airplane. Let's get the altitude up a little bit so we don't run aground. Oh, hold on here. Alright, guys. See where we're at here. Perfect. Yeah, this is incredible. Like the graphics on this are insane. Holy cow. All right. Here, 
following our flight track here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and shut all pilot off. And uh, we're just gonna bring it in. We're just gonna bring it in, so. There's Palm Springs just on the right side here. Put some spoilers up. But yeah, I would say if you want just a fun, you know, fun airplane to fly, but it's still kind of realistic. And it's probably going to have lots of updates coming to make it even, like, more realistic down to the core. As well as basically, you know, being able to even fly like an A380. Then I would say this is for you. I'm definitely going to fly this a lot. I got this from the marketplace. Because I know there's been a couple other A380s that have come out that even have just like a Airbus A320 cockpit. And I get it, you know, that's like, I didn't even get that plane, but this at least has the A380 cockpit, which is incredible. Alright, flaps full. You're done. Slow it down here. You can see some traffic down on the left side here. As we make our way in. Come on. So I think I gotta get down to a certain speed here before my landing gear will come down. Gear down. There we go. Alright, runway is in sight. And we are going to check in with ATC really quick. Oops, wrong one. Alright. Tower. Alright, well we're coming in for landing no matter what, so here we go. Yeah, guys, overall, pretty cool plane to fly. It's pretty realistic. I'm definitely going to fly this a lot more here, like I said. Um, also going to be improving the setup over the next year, too. So stay tuned for, for a lot more content. But for now, please enjoy this landing of the A380 into Palm Springs. Details are amazing in this game. This is so realistic. When I mean realistic, like the graphics on the plane and the details outside. This is crazy. Slowing down pretty 40, quick here. 30, 20. Retard. Alright, guys, we got brakes at maximum. Um, auto brakes are at max. Looks like they're doing their job too. And get this beast slowed down here. Alright, disarming auto brakes. We are on the ground. Here's the thrust reversers if you didn't see them.
I don't know, guys. I'd say it passes the check for me. This thing is amazing. All right, where are we going to park an A380 at Palm Springs? But yeah, hopefully in the future they can add more wing views and stuff. Like, again, I said, I tried the custom wing views. I went outside the plane and, like, the, the wings weren't even, like, textured right. So, you know, basically you go to your community folder, you go to your files, and you got the XYZ and you can, you know, minus five, you get off the airplane and you can adjust your views. But even, like, those de textures weren't even, like, you know, finished really. So all I'm going to say is... I think they're going to add a lot in the future for this, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. But, Fly-By-Wire A380 coming next, as well as the PMDG 777, and the Aerosoft A330, so Bluebird 757. So we got a lot, lot to look forward to here, guys. A lot to look forward here. So, stay tuned for that. Got some airplanes pushing back on the side here. Let me show you guys kind of what I see because I got three monitors going here. I got planes pushing back all over the place here. But yeah. Overall, awesome airplane. Let's do an engine shutdown for you guys. Alright, shut two down. Yeah, like I said, pretty soon I'm going to add my Thrustmaster, um, all four of them together. So I'm going to have the whole, like, A380 deal here. Alright, engines are shutting down. And let's get a jetway over. Some reason it doesn't want me to do the jetway. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The uh, Breedock 3D Airbus A380 for Microsoft Flight Simulator here. Overall, it's a pretty fun plane to fly. I'm going to try it on some long-haul missions in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are all doing well. Also, Instagram and TikTok. Um, you guys can follow me there at FS Captain Alex, And, of course, right here on YouTube. Please subscribe for more. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Um, try to make the video honestly as short as possible for you guys and give you a nice cool uh, video of the Breedock A380 flying. So, thank you for your views, guys, and thank you for supporting me. I really do appreciate you guys, and um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Also, feel free to like and subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Comment down below if you guys have anything nice to say. Please be respectful. And uh, happy flight simming, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.